Hi everyone, this is Venkatesh from Naresha Technologies. In this video, I have a continuity video to exception handling. So, in the last few videos, I have been discussing about your how to use your try catch, try finally, try catch finally. The last video, I discussed about how to handle user defined exception. But yesterday, when the user defined exception raised, we are creating object for the class from where the exception raised. But while object creation, I am not passing any individual message as parameter. Today, let me concentrate on how to bind individual message as parameter. Why individual message as parameter means if more than one exception is there from the same class, I want to display different message for different exceptions. In that process, while object creation, I am trying to bind individual message as parameter. So, in this program demonstration, I will take two exceptions roughly. I want to read one employee ID exactly four characters roughly. And if you, I asked him to enter his uh, basic salary and must not be less than 5000. The two exceptions I am keeping here. I am connecting import java dot util dot star. Whenever I want to handle exception, the class must be extended from exception and we are having one scanner s is equal to new scanner of system dot in i am using try block here i had catch block here try and catch so here i am putting a message enter the emp id this is for rough demo introducing how to generate individual message for multiple exceptions. That is a demo program. I am handling string emp id is equal to s dot next line. My intention here is nothing but whenever the end user enters his employee id, I am putting one user defined here if emp id dot length if it is not equal to 4 i am raising exception here when this exception has been raised exception has been raised we have to create object for the class from where the exception raised like last class demo or last video what we observed so if exception not there anyway I will ask the user to enter is basic salary, enter the basic salary, int basic salary is equal to s dot next int. So, I am putting one more condition here, if basic salary entered less than 5000, 5000. I am calling it as exception, user defined exception. See the program clearly. Here one I condition, I kept one condition here. If it is not equal to 4, employee id not equal to 4, exception raised. If not, we are reading the basic salary. We are checking, sorry, we are checking that basic salary if it is less than 5000, raise the exception roughly. Now, if the two exceptions not raised, I am putting one message here. System dot out dot println employee id is equal to emp id. Basic salary is equal to plus basic salary. If exceptions are not there, then we are displaying this employee id and basic salary what is the theory by last video i educated you whenever the user defined exception raised we have to create object for the class from where the exception raised now this exception raised user defined exception raised from the class d exception 5 so we have to create object for d exception 5 some ob equal to new d exception 5. 
Now this exception also raising from the same class D exception 5. Here also same object must be created because the exception raised from the same class. So what is the rule here? We have to create object for the class from where the exception raised and the reference of that object must be thrown onto catch block by using which keyword throw keyword. So I am cutting this LHS of object creation I am adding a throw keyword here. I am cutting this LHS of object creation I am adding a throw keyword. Throw keyword means what object created and the reference of that object is thrown onto catch block. So here we are putting this LHS. So both the exceptions what we raised for this exception raised from D exception 5 same class this exception sorry exception will be raised from the same class D exception 5. RHS is same now new D exception 5 new D exception 5 throw the reference onto catch block here we are putting a message system dot out dot print ln I am trying to display the message whenever I am trying to display the message here I must put one message how maybe invalid invalid emp id or invalid basic salary because both the exceptions are thrown onto same catch block no I want my intention to generate one message maybe emp id maybe invalid basic salary if I run it if I run it a 1 2 exception raised when the condition has been met and so the exception raised and the object created reference thrown onto catch block message came but the message is not apt invalid EMP ID or invalid basic salary it must be only one message invalid EMP ID suppose I will execute this program once again here a123 enter the basic salary 1200 invalid emp id invalid basic salary so it is not accurate no sir i want to bind the individual message i want the message as individual suppose if you want to display the details what is available within the exception sorry within the object so here system dot out dot print ln some ob one object created an object is having the details of exception I said if I display a 1 2 exception handling package name and the class name as in details sir I want individual message whenever we want individual message we pass the individual message as parameter while object creation this video main intention is nothing but to educate how to pass this individual message as parameter observe carefully I am cutting this message invalid id invalid employee id so the length failed means invalid employee id so whatever it is available here I am cutting here and pasting here invalid basic salary it is invalid basic salary so if you observe clearly here now here one exception is there here one exception is there if the exception raised I am binding one individual message if this exception raised I am binding individual message in object oriented journey or in object oriented programming whenever we pass parameter while object creation the parameter or the argument will be taken by the parameterized constructor so inside one parameter is constructor must be declared already we know constructor call is available within the object creation syntax to handle this message I am declaring one constructor within the D exception 5 in D exception 5 I am declaring one constructor that is D exception 5 what type of constructor string data as parameter string some message now the error has been gone you, can, you cannot find the error the reason is nothing but whatever the message I am passing while object creation this is passed on to the 
parameterized constructor that is nothing but d exception 5. So, whatever the message available here like this, I will take one instance variable like this, string message I will take it, one instance variable, one instance variable, this variable will get the memory within the object. Now, within this, this keyword, this dot message is equal to message, I am binding it out. Now, finally, whatever the message I passed here, taken by the parameterized constructor, will load it onto instance variable. Instance variable can be used by the method, but here I want to display the message, no, I am displaying message. So, one error will come here, here one error will come, error is nothing but this specifies that, this is specifying that cannot make a static reference to non-static field message, the reason, the main method is static method, but you are trying to access one instance variable. So, if you want to make it available to public static void main, declare this variable as static, class variable. When it is a static, uh, sorry, class variable, static method can access it. If I run it, finally, I will get one individual message, a, a12, invalid employee id, this is details of exception. So, I am getting individual message now, right. If I re-execute the program, if I have a123, 4, length is 4, exception not raised, I am uh, I am asking the end user to enter basic salary, he is entering 1200, 1200 less than 5000, so exception raised, invalid basic salary, one message came, okay sir, fine, but is the look, code is looking lengthy now here, right, taking one instance variable, binding the message, instead of that and we had a process. Why to bind it a instance variable here with name? So, we give the control to whatever the message we collected into parameterized constructor using super keyword, we are going to pass it message like this. So, whatever the message passed came here through super keyword, I am passing under message. Whenever I pass super of message, so is the super class here? exception. This exception class having a constructor, among that one constructor we had a string as parameter, this is taken. The exception will pass that same message to throwable, same message to throwable because throwable is the parent class of exception, exception has been extended to user defined class, but throwable is having one method known as get message method. So, ob dot get message method. So, if I run the program, let us observe carefully, whatever the message I binded here, that parameter passed on to the parameterized constructor, this parameterized constructor passed that message through super, through super to the super class or parent class exception, this parent class exception passed that throwable. So, let me look that hierarchy once. So, let me check the hierarchy. Java p java dot lang dot we are looking for exception. This exception class is extended from java dot lang dot throwable. This exception class has one a one parameterized constructor string collected. Now, I am opening throwable. This throwable is the parent class of exception. The throwable internally implemented from serializable, java.io.serializable one interface. If you observe this throwable implemented from java.io.serializable, this is a hierarchy in your library. This throwable has one more uh, constructor here, string. So, whatever the message I passed here, so, whatever the message I passed here like this, while object creation, I am passing one message invalid EMP ID. This is one constructor call, parameterized constructor of D exception 5 is activated like this. This parameterized constructor of D exception 5 class collect the message and pass through, pass to the super class or parent class by using super. What is the parent class here? Exception. Exception has its own parent class throwable in the library. 
that throwable has one constructor known as constructor having the parameter string collected that is binded into the object onto one anonymous field that is a theoretical internal design. But whenever I want to display this message what is available, I will take the support of get message method. This get message method return type is string with the support of this get message method ob dot get message I used here return type is string if I run it a123 and 1200 the message will be displayed from there invalid basic salary it is coming out message binded no right suppose I want to only message do not display this system dot out print ln not needed right just to display the message a 1 2 binded. So, suppose if I had a 1 23 if I entered correctly I will get the answer. Suppose if I entered any one statement wrongly a 1 23 and 1200 individual message is coming out this program demonstration is nothing but how to generate individual message for individual exceptions. The demo of this program is nothing but I took two user defined exceptions. One exception whenever the employee id not equal to 4 I must put a message as invalid employee id. Whenever the basic salary entered less than 5000 I must put a message as invalid basic salary. Whenever two exceptions are there I want two individual messages. Whenever I want to put an individual message to the exception, I must bind that message while object creation. Whenever I bind a message while object creation, that is passed as parameter to parameterized constructor. Through this constructor, I am passing the message to the super class or parent class exception from this throwable. Throwable has one message, one method known as get message method through that we are having a display. So, in this video, I discussed about your binding message while object creation. The last video user defined exception, but I not yet passed any message as parameter. In this video, I demonstrated how to pass individual message as parameter. In this uh, sessions, what has been happened in this videos, I educated you try catch, try finally, try catch finally, handling user defined exception without message while object creation, handling user defined exception by passing individual message as parameter. Thank you. Watch me on more videos in Narasha Technologies.